Hi and welcome to this particular video that deals with completing the square. Now in the example that we're going to look at it doesn't actually say that but what it does say is give your answer in third form. Okay well as soon as it says that what it means is is use completing the square in order to solve this. Okay, so the way that we're going to do that is we're going to look at x squared plus 10x plus 12. We're going to put it in a slightly different form. And the easiest way really is to look at the first bit and say x plus 5. So in other words, the plus 10 here becomes half of that and we're actually then going to square it. Okay, now there's quite a lot of proof, mathematical proof as to why you would half it, but that's not the purpose of this video, it's just really a quick reminder as to how we do these things. So if we look at x plus 5 squared, what I'm going to do is just at the side here, I'm going to just work that out. And what I'll find is, is that if I work out x plus 5 times x plus 5, what I actually get is x squared plus 10x plus 25. Okay, so in other words, if I'm changing the layout or changing the form of this formula, I'm okay at the beginning, I've got x squared plus 10x, absolutely fine for me, no problems at all. The difficulty I've got is this plus 25. So what I have to do is minus 25, and it then means that the first bit of the formula is absolutely the same. Okay, now the only other thing I've got to do is take into account this plus 12. So what I'm going to do is minus, uh, big part, I'm going to plus 12 onto here and make that equal to zero. And then really it's just a case of tidying this up. So let's just make sure that that looks a little bit tidier. I've got x plus 5 squared and I've got minus 25 plus 12, well that's going to be minus 13 and that equals zero. So all they're asking us to do now is to find the value of x. Okay, well it's really just using a little bit of algebra to make sure then that we get the two values of x that we're looking for. Don't forget that what we're actually doing is solving this when it's equal to zero. So we're looking at these two points on a graph. Okay, so the first thing is I've got x plus 5 squared minus 13 equals 0. Not happy about that minus 13. What I'm going to do is add 13 to both sides. Now if I do that, that cancels out and I get x plus 5 squared equals 13. Okay, well that's looking a little bit better now. I just need to get rid of that squared, so I'm going to square root both sides. Now if I square root this side I've got x plus 5 squared and the square root of that is actually just x plus 5. On the right hand side the square root of 13 is just like that, square root of 13. Okay so the next thing is um, I've got x plus 5 equals square root of 13. Well remember that the square root can be either a positive or a negative number. So if you imagine something like um, 36, well, square root of 36 can be plus 6 times plus 6 or minus 6 times minus 6. So square roots are always positive or negative. Okay, then I've got this x value. I'm going to minus 5 from both sides, okay, because that means then on the left-hand side I get x on its own. And on the right hand side, I've got minus 5 plus or minus the square root of 13. And that actually answers this particular question. Now, it might be on the paper you get asked to separate the two, in which case you'll get minus 5 plus the square root of 13 and minus 5 minus the square root of 13. And that'll be the two solutions that you'll need for this particular value of x on this particular graph. Um, I hope that's been okay for you. Uh, please do add a comment below. I'll always come back to you. There's plenty of other examples within the playlist. I'll look forward to seeing you inside the next video.